Okay, this one's interesting. Navarez, Christina M. and Nomi. They both died on the same day. The mother and daughter. going on everybody welcome back to the channel well we are here at holy cross cemetery here in colma california i just did a live stream a little while ago walking through this cemetery just a little bit of it and came across some cool stones and some cool stones with uh, pictures on them so let's go on a little picture hunt being a lot of you guys including myself we like the pictures let's go on a little picture hunt here and see what we can find all right so let's go well, this one isn't a picture, but it's like a bust that's carved into it. Giacomo Buero uh, from Italy, eight, 1823 to 1887, excuse me. So it looks like we're December 1823 to August 1887. And um, look at this. on the side over here. Amelia Capuro, December 14th, 1876, November 3rd, 1918. Yeah, like I said, it's not quite a picture, but I think this one is just as cool. Walking around over here. Giuseppe, 1916. to 1942. Uh, Anna, 1915, I think it's 1969, I think. We got a uh, Domenico, 18th of December, 1903. I can't really read that one, but this is a cool stone. I mean, wow. All I could find on this one was business owner. So, owned a business of some kind. No wonder he's got such an awesome stone. Now this one, it's the Berry family. Anne Faye Berry, uh, February 15th, 1945. There's no inscription, so she must still be alive. Albert Evans Walker III, January 8th, 1967 to March 20th, 2002. And they got some uh, carvings on this one. Same thing on the other side. But where the picture magic is, is on the back of this, this big stone. They got pictures back here. Let's see, the mother who loves you all. And our beloved Angel Evans. This one. Oh, this one's so hard to read. I can't even read this. I don't think it's a it's a young girl though. I think it says 1911 to 1930, but I can't. Gilsman, I think, is the last name. I can't make it out. Naked eye, can't really. There's there's a I think a, there's another name down there. I can't see. The 1961 is all I can make out on that one of the girl beautiful and 
Tung Stjepo Stjepo February 13th, 1932, October 7th, 2022. Anton. Oh, blessed mother, take my hand and lead me home. It's beautiful. Beautiful stone. It's more modern, but... Yeah. Got one over here too. John J. Mulgravy is the last name. 1862 to 1910. John J. Jackie died August 12th, 1929, age seven years, eight months. Ellie Jade, 1896 to 1930. So this must be Jackie right here. Age seven years, eight months. That picture is holding up well, too. It's awesome. Wow. Beautiful. Arsene Louis Del Marty, February 7th, 1913 to December 30th, 1998, U.S. Army, World War II. Thank you for your service, my friend. There's an awesome picture of him. There's a cool one here. This is probably one of those laser inscribed, possibly. Maybe not. I think it might be, though. It could be. In loving memory of our beloved husband, father, and grandfather, Enyo Le Petit. March 11th, 1931 to April 2nd, 2007, forever in our hearts. Well, here's one. It's not really a picture, but it's a, a police officer, San Francisco police officer and a Marine, Anthony A. Del Zampo, Sergeant, San Francisco Police Department and United States Marine Corps also. May 19th, 1929 to September 16th, 2008. The glory of God means being fully alive. And then they have a carving of his badge as well. It's hard to see. Okay, this one's interesting. Navarez, Christina M. and Nomi. They both died on the same day. The mother and daughter. Christina was April 23rd, 1954 to April 23rd, 1996. Her birthday. Wow. And then I guess that's Nomi. Is 19, uh, March 8th, 1982 to April 23rd, 1996. Wow, I gotta look this one up. So I found out what was going on. There was a, at the SF gate, there was an article I'd found online. I guess the uh, mother and daughter, and there was a 10 year old son as well. They were all shot by Christina's ex-husband, John Navarez. He was 42. I guess he had a history of being abusive with Christina and the family. And basically, um, 
shot all of them mother daughter and son but I'm not seeing the sun on here anywhere I don't think so I think the sun might have survived but that is just so sad and it was on Christina's birthday and then it said uh, police believe John Navarez used a fourth bullet in his revolver to take his own life after exiting the vehicle and it said they were found in Fairfield California in their car and each person the mother daughter and son had a bullet wound in the head but at the uh, printing of this article which was um, 1996 it said the son lay in the hospital in critical condition so the hus the, hus the uh, son was in critical condition um, this article does not say much more about if the son survived or not but there's no grave marker here or he's not on the stone so I would assume he might have survived but I'm gonna do some more digging on this this is sad tragic I'm gonna assume the uh, 10 year old boy survived his wounds because um, there's nothing more about like anybody else who might have died I didn't find anything else on him so I would assume he survived that is horrible that is so horrible that this, uh, you know, abusive father, husband, you know, after the parents separated, he um, lost his mind and did the unimaginable. Killed his wife, his daughter, and then tried to kill his son. And a minute ago, you probably heard what sounded like gunshots. And if you heard that, you were not wrong in hearing that. There is a shooting range across the street, not in the cemetery, but you know, across the road from the cemetery, way off in the distance. And you can hear the uh, pop pops going off as they shoot at, you know, in, at the range. But yeah, I, I was hearing that as I was talking about the last thing, it was crazy. But then I forgot there is a uh, shooting range right across. This might be Lisa Lowney, 1960 to 1976. 16 years old? Wow. I wonder if there's a story behind this one as well. So I searched her. I found a profile on one of those, you know, like it was like a, some kind of like site where you can look at people and stuff. But there was nothing about her death. Um, I couldn't find any newspaper articles or nothing. So, my genealogy buffs, if you want to get on this one, get on it. And maybe we could uh, figure out what happened later. It's so beautiful out here. It's about ah, 5.22 p.m. There's still people over there. So, I haven't come in to kick nobody out yet. So, we're going to push our luck here. Look at a couple more possibly here. And see what we can see here Look at this one Lu Chi Sing Lu Tak Sao and Lu Lucy 1947, 1971, 1918 to 1918, 1922 to 2011. Let's see here. This one's interesting. It's got like a house with angels above it. If you can make that out. There's any pictures on it, but no, there's not. We got there. Anthony Joseph, 1912 to 2004, and Dorothy, 1918 to 
Kristovich. In God's care. That's all they have. It's three individuals there. We got a Stephen M. March 3rd, 1895, November 8th, 1972. There's a Pauline, July 20th, 1904 to October 2nd, 1985. There's a picture for a fourth one there, but it's empty. There's a Estelle J. May 5th, 1926 to August 15th, 1996. So yeah, that's them. That's for that spot. Huh. All righty, we got a crow, a big crow over here on this stone. I wonder if he's going to be as friendly as the last one. Probably not. Big boy. Ah! 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 <laughs> ah! Well, there he goes. No. Oh. Roquette. Wow. Frederick, January 3rd, 1946. And then Maria, 1885 to 1958. Let's see here. I guess that's Frederick. It's hard to see. I don't want to put a shadow on this, but. I guess that's Maria. Let's try another. Try to step onto the side here. Oh boy. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Um, that Lisa Lowney, that girl, I just, weird. Didn't find a newspaper clipping, nothing on her. If I find anything else about her, I'll add it to this video later. But it was interesting, she was so young when she died. And um, I searched a couple of sites, found a profile for her, but it wasn't saying what she had passed of. It was kind of limited in what I could find. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon. Therefore, you'll be notified of all of my future uploads, guys. It was a pleasure. And I'll talk to you later.